friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some cool things that I learned on TikTok. Did you know seals have fur? I thought they were like dolphins, but no. They're smooth, but it's smooth fur. It's like the fur is always slicked back in one direction. So when you give him a little head scratch, he got a little mohawk. Bro didn't even know he had hair. He just as confused as us. I guess men will have hair. Things I wish I knew before. You know these metal paper towel holders? You could actually hang them on a shelf. I mean, you can also put them on the counter. But if you need to hang them anywhere, that's what the metal rod is for. You just literally slide it in. A wham, bam, you have a hanging paper towel dispenser, ma'am. This is genius. So this is how people drink a lot of liquid at once. Instead of taking a bunch of small sips, open your throat and let it slide down. The way that you get it open is by taking a little liquid in your mouth, looking up and swallowing. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? This will prime your chug muscles. And along with a little upward pressure with the diaphragm, you can keep it open. And that's how you can drink anything in one ginormous sip. Look, you're gonna drink all of that in a sip? There's no way. Cheers. Bro, drink like half a gallon! Is it that easy? I can get my eight glasses of water in like three seconds. My daily water intake, here we go. I did that right. Have you ever wondered why popcorn pops? Yes. Every day of my life, I lay in my bed unable to fall asleep at night, wondering why popcorn pops. Each kernel of popcorn contains a tiny drop of water, and when heat is applied, this water turns into steam, building pressure within the kernel. Eventually, the hard outer shell can't handle the pressure and bursts open. This explosion flips the kernel inside out, and the soft starch inflates into to what we know as popcorn. Whoa! You know what? I had no idea. Oh, poor little popcorn kernel can't take the pressure. Just one little drop of water. Can't take the heat, get out of the bathtub. So the popcorn kernels basically go insane until they pop, flipping them inside out. And who knew a popcorn kernel was soft on the inside? Wow, you learn something new every day. They literally use dish soap to move a 5.3 million pound bridge. I mean, it do be slippery, but how slippery? There ain't no way. They're moving an actual bridge. I thought she was kidding. It couldn't have been that big. I was wondering how much dish soap they were talking. How many bottles of Dawn does it take to move a 5.3 million pound bridge down the road? Would you believe me if I told you just one? Look how much they use. Just a little squiggle, just so it's slippery enough. The guys push it, so it slides slides down the road. There ain't no way. This is nuts. That's about as much oil as I use on a greasy pan. Except y'all are moving a bridge with it. They got this goofy art truck with two wheels. Where's the rest of it? He be doing so much with so little. He be pulling an entire plane. Bro did it with half a truck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is something to do with physics. This guy gets paid to destroy expensive cars. You know, as a durability test. Let's see how durable a $400,000 Lambo is. Bro just popped off the steering wheel like it was a bottle cap. There ain't no way. The chair? Oh, not the door. Is he just super strong or the car is just poorly made? I can't tell. How would you? Lamborghini. Don't tell me you're gonna rip that off. Oh, that was so disrespectful. The way he just slammed it like trash. Yeah, I might as well spit on it too. Everything came apart so easily. Bro, unassembled the car with his bare hands. There ain't no way. I mean, yeah, everything's gonna come off if you manhandle it hard enough. I guess he helps companies build more durable cars. Bro could probably snap a Tesla in half. Reasons why I love filmmaking. That's not a real burger. Squeeze it, I dare you. See, it's made out of foam. So on movie sets, they can't just have a bunch of burgers and fries. Otherwise, people will eat them. They will get old and mushy. So they buy fake props of food made out of foam. And then the vegans can hold their little hamburger and pretend to gobble it up like they can eat meat. 
Every student needs to know this. Would you believe me if I told you I knew this when I was in high school? Like you can take your flat iron, you can uncrease your paper, make it like brand new. Just swipe it across and it will fix everything. I used to do this with my clothes. If the collar of my shirt was like crumpled, I would take my flat iron and just like straighten it. And not only just for hair, you can also pop popcorn with it. Just hold it and pop. Couldn't take the heat stay out of the flat iron. Did you know owls actually have really long legs? <laughs> Look at the legs on this guy! Bro got some long legs out here looking like Bella Hadid. Where are you hiding all that? So this is what an owl normally looks like versus when you literally lift its feathers and body up to reveal those gorgeous long legs. It's like wearing a little pea coat. Now what else are they hiding in there? Actually, I don't want to know. That's why you make Whoa. the big bucks. Yeah, you really have to trust the process with this one. So how do you roll up a rope? You just whip it around like this and then flop it together like a book and then the rope has been rolled. This is genius. Y'all are gonna have to watch this one more time. Just like look, watch how we did it. That was so cool. What do you do when you get gum in your hair? That's a big bubble. She did that on purpose? Girl, I hope you have a plan B. She is so confident in her skills in getting the bubble gum out. Oh, you use vegetable oil. It makes the gum just melt away. I heard you can also use mousse. Oh, vegetable oil is even better. And it's good for your hair. Nourishing. And the gum just slides right out. Okay, she knew exactly what she was doing. All out. And it probably works for slime too. I can't believe people are still opening pasta like this. Why would you rip it open? Pop it on the counter. You know, or if you have a handy dandy pair of scissors around, you just snip the top off. But yeah, that's all it takes. One of these pasta bags, just one good smack to the counter. You get to take out your anger and frustration, and you get to have pasta for dinner. Win-win situation. It ain't about the pasta. It's not about the pasta. Filthy burnt pans, fix it with ketchup. How does that make sense? The bottom of your stainless steel pan is burnt to a crisp. Just slather some ketchup on that bad boy. I'm guessing something with the acidity of the tomato will eat away at the burn part. Oh, it's going away. Literally melting the burn off. Wow, power of nightshade. That's why people are afraid to eat tomatoes. Animals today that used to be giants. Sloths, no way. You're gonna have to show me video proof. Okay, the first one is not real, but you told me back in the day, sloths used to be massive, like 20 feet tall, but they're so cute and cuddly now. That would have been terrifying. All these years they were talking about Bigfoot was actually a giant sloth. I was today years old when I realized the circle on the pan turns solid red when it's ready. I use these pans every single day and I've never noticed that. So when it's cold, it has the dots on it and then when it's hot, the dots disappear. Your tortilla is ready to be cooked. Good to know. Have you ever wondered how this trick is done? How is it possible to make a huge wine bottle just disappear? How did he do that? It had to have went somewhere. Okay, this guy put it in a bag and then crumpled it up. They gotta start making magicians do tricks shirtless. Maybe even butt naked. That's the only way I'll believe it. There's nowhere to hide all these tricks. Okay, where did it go? Can you explain this to me? Why would it need to be that forceful if it was just a bag? Well, the answer is the wine bottle is actually still in there. You see, the magician uses a fake wine wine bottle made out of soft rubber. That's no fun, is it? So it didn't go up his sleeve. It's just a fake rubber bottle that looks like a wine bottle and they just like <laughs> smooshed it. Dang, y'all really did me a bamboozle. I thought he shoved it up his sleeve when I wasn't looking. All right, I'm gonna give you this one. I never know how magic works. Like y'all get me every time. POV, you don't know that the street poles are made of plastic. No, I didn't know that. So they could literally just drive right over them. That cop car just glitched out. He went ghost for a hot second. Bro just spawned and had an invincibility glitch to go right over the cone. Yeah, I had no idea you could just drive over those. Only in case of an emergency. How to stop a stalker from seeing your location with an air tag. If a stalker is tracking you with an air tag, you can stop the tracking by removing the battery. Press down on the air tag with two fingers and rotate it counterclockwise and the cover will pop. Now you can remove the battery. How is the stalker gonna have your air tag location? I didn't know it was that easy. Push it down and then rotate and then you pop the battery out. Cannot use an air tag with no battery. 
Phone glitching? Hold a magnet to the camera and then it just fixes it. Well, I've never had this problem, but if you do, that's what you gotta do to fix it. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.